Hello folks, I'm Cooper and today on Cooking with Cleavers we'll be discussing uh, my top picks for Chinese slicing cleavers. Um, I'll be discussing some, well, I'll, I'll give you three options for Chinese slicing cleavers that I like, spanning carbon steel and stainless steel. Um, so if you don't know what Chinese slicing cleavers are, uh, check out the description box for a link on a video explaining um, what Chinese slicing cleavers are. It's called Intro to Chinese Slicing Cleavers. Uh, also, if you don't know uh, the differences and benefits between carbon steel and stainless steel, also in the description box is a link to a video uh, on that. Uh, so without further ado, we'll get into my favorite overall Chinese slicing cleaver. That is this knife, the CCK uh, Small Slicer. Uh, it's, no, it's CCK number KF uh, 1301. Uh, so there's CCK small slicer is a carbon steel knife. As you can see, it's uh, a little bit rugged looking, uh, but it's very uh, good knife, very thin, lightweight, uh, and has a nice long blade for slicing through uh, larger amounts of things. It's especially useful for slicing through uh, large objects uh, like cabbages and things. Um, I'll throw a link in the description box to the full review of this knife, uh, but a very good knife for those who want to have ultimate performance um, from their slicing cleavers. Um, great belly profile, uh, good height, good length. Um, this knife is somewhat more difficult to get in the United States. I presently live in Taiwan and I got it for 30 some odd dollars uh, pretty easily. There's a, a large supply of them here. Uh, but the, the company CCK is out of Hong Kong um, and they only have like one major distributor in the United States and that's chefsknivestogo.com. Um, but the, right now, ChefsKnifesToGo.com does not have this small slicer. It only has the smallest of the small slicers. So CCK has a lineup of uh, a few small slicers uh, that are all carbon steel uh, slicing cleavers. This one's the 1301. This next smallest one is the 1302. And then there's another next smaller one, it's the 1303. Uh, the 1303 is what's available on chefsknivestogo.com and that's presently priced at $85 in August 2021. Um, personally, I would prefer getting the 1301 for the extra blade length, so you may have to look on eBay and the like to find this knife. So it's potentially a little harder to get, uh, but it's got great performance if you can get your hands on one. Uh, on the stainless steel side, uh, my favorite knife is, right now is the CCK uh, KF1902. Uh, it's titled the S Stainless Steel Small Slicer. Uh, so their naming at CCK is not particularly uh, difficult. It just makes sense. Um, this is stainless steel version, this is the carbon steel version. Anyway, uh, the stainless steel version, however, uh, is a bit more refined, whereas uh, the carbon steel versions of their small slicers are a bit more rugged looking and less well finished off. The stainless steel version is uh, very nice. It's got a finished wood handle, a nice brass bolster, and a well polished blade. Um, it looks really nice. Um, the stainless steel small slicers don't come in, in as long of options, uh, at least in the small slicer variety. Um, this one is only like 20.5 centimeters or 205 centimeters long uh, or so, which is a little bit short for my preferences. I prefer a longer blade to be able to chop through uh, m more of whatever I'm chopping through at once. Um, but it has a good thin blade, it's very uh, nice and light, uh, and it looks nice. Um, it also glides through most things uh, I cut through. The, the carbon steel knife is a little bit thinner in the blade and easier to sharpen. This looks nicer, uh, and you don't have to put as much maintenance into it because it is a stainless knife, so it's uh, far more resistant to corrosion. Um, but yeah, this is a CCK. Uh, 
KF1902. You can also get the KF19XL. That would probably be my recommended. I don't have one of those, but it's a, the longest version of the small slicer. There's the also the 1901, which is slightly longer than this, and a 1903. Uh, presently, on you can find this also on ChefsKnives2Go.com. Um, it's like $89 um, presently. I got this knife in Taiwan for 45 or 50 dollars. Uh, so there you go on that. I don't have any connection to chef's knife to go.com or CCK because uh, I'm obviously too small a person uh, to have uh, any real relationship with them. But there you go. I like their knives. Uh, if you think that 89 or 85 dollars for a knife is a bit steep, I totally understand. I didn't pay that much for any of my knives because in Taiwan I can get them for cheaper. Um, but if you're in the United States and want to get a cheaper uh, but still quality uh, slicing cleaver, I'd recommend the uh, Shibadzu Zul TP03-1, which is this model with the stainless steel handle, uh, or you can get its brother knife, I suppose, which is the F208-1, which is the same blade length and construction, but with a wood handle, so a more traditional handle. Uh, I personally quite like the stainless steel handle on this knife. Uh, I also like the wood handles on most of my slicing cleavers. Uh, but this stainless steel handle is one of the few stainless steel handles I found that uh, is done really well. Uh, so if you can find this knife, I would recommend it. Uh, you can get the TP03-1 on AliExpress, which is a Chinese website. Uh, and you can get it for like 38 US dollars but it might take a long time to ship over from China and I'm not sure about the privacy uh, of AliExpress so if you're worried about sending your credit card information to a Chinese company uh, get the wood handled version which is available on Amazon for like $45 uh, but this blade is a uh, clad blade so it's got an 8CR13 core and a 1CR13 cladding uh, and it's a pretty good blade. Not as good as the CCK blades. Uh, it's got a little bit thicker of a blade profile uh, and it's a little bit heavier of a knife. So it doesn't, you have to push through and it's a little bit more difficult to use. But uh, to save uh, $45 and just to get into a Chinese slicing cleaver, this uh, TP03-1 or the F208-1 uh, or the shorter version, uh, the uh, F208-2 or TP03-2 are good options. Uh, and for this, the Dash 1 uh, version of both of these, uh, it's 9 inches or 220 of 9 millimeters long, uh, which gives a good uh, cutting length uh, in your blade. So these are my three recommendations for uh, favorite knives, the CCK 1301 as your number one go-to if you can, uh, would like to deal with absolute cutting performance from a Chinese slicing cleaver. Uh, it is carbon steel though, so it takes a little more maintenance. Uh, for stainless steel, the CCK small slicers, the KF19 lineup uh, are my go-to. Uh, and then a recommendation for a slightly cheaper, more budget-friendly, but still performance uh, Chinese slicing cleaver is the Shibadzu Zul uh, TP03-1 or 2 and and its brother the TP or the Shibadzu Zul F208-1 or 2. Thank you for watching Cooking with Cleavers. If you're interested in learning more about Chinese slicing cleavers uh, or would like to watch specific reviews uh, on uh, specific types of slicing cleavers like the CCK and Shabazz as well. Uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new a review or tutorial video. Uh, also, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button uh, and share it with your friends and family so they can all uh, also learn about these awesome Chinese slicing cleavers or Chinese chef's knives. Thank you very much.